from an energy standpoint, nutrient cycle, nutrient flow, and nutrient into the egg that you and I eat. Right. Uh, now, will you quick. rotate this pasture for, for cattle? Oh, yeah. We've all, this pasture, uh, we already grazed it. Uh, we grazed it twice and uh, with the cows and ran egg mobiles behind the cows. Mm -hmm. And then we let it go for hay. We mowed it for hay. And now we're running these birds on it. And beginning this week now, we'll bring broilers over and run broilers here as well. So it'll have layers, meat birds, cows, and egg mobiles across it at different times through the season. Uh, each one of those being a, a, um, a synergistic income stream on the pasture. Mm -hmm. So where the, the, just the beef cattle farmer is making maybe 300 bucks an acre gross, gross income flow per acre per year, we're making uh, 5,000. Right. Well, suddenly, the little farm can generate enough income for a son, a daughter, a niece, a nephew, a friend, a, a young person, so that as I age, there's a replacement coming up through the ranks. You know, the biggest problem in farming is that um, as the farmer ages, there's not enough income being generated to provide a salary for the next generation coming up. And that's why the average farmer that is, is now almost 60 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, and, and, and the and the, the children don't want to do it. That's they're and getting, the children don't want because it's paying jobs low somewhere. pay. Exactly, exactly. And so this is a way to stack complementary income streams on a resource base to create enough income for multi generational business um, uh, cycle. Right. And that's that's big. Yeah. A lot of times the commercial operations have terrible cannibalism problems. Mm -hmm. You know, one bird gets a little right. bloody and they just all right. go right after it. Well, that's why they de-beak them. Uh -huh. They cut their beak off. See, we've all got full yeah, beaks. Yeah, they've all either. got full beaks. And uh, once no. they got that beak cut off, they're not going to forage well, well. These guys have stuff to do. they got yeah. work to do. they, yeah. they got they got busyness to do. Yeah. You know, they got to go out to the gym and uh, <laughs> right. and they got to go out to the salad bar. You know, they got, they got stuff to do. Uh-huh. And uh, so that's that's pretty neat. We sell lots of birds. We probably sell uh, well over a thousand pullet, ready to lay pullets uh -huh. a year uh, to backyard and smaller, you know, people that want 50 or 60, uh, you know, that don't want to raise them from chicks. They want to just buy, and we, we sell some to farmer's market people that want to just, they don't want to raise them through the winter, you know, they're, they're right, tired, right. they want to rest in the winter, but they want to have eggs when farmer's market starts. So we raise their pullets for them. And then, you know, come uh, April, when farmer's market starts, they can get ready to lay pullets and boom, they're, you know, they're in the season. It goes yeah. in, you know, it starts with the carrots and the peas and everything else.